My Dust Montreal started in 2006. I met somebody at the Montreal Game Summit, and um, they were asking if I would be available to start a studio in Montreal for IDOS. The initial life of IDOS Montreal is very humble. The first four months was basically, a head office was my uh, basement. <laughs> and uh, here we are, uh, just over three years after, and we're 330 right now, and uh, growing. It was very important for us to respect the franchise. In fact, it's very unique. You cannot compare this kind of game to um, another game. The year is 2027. It's a time of great innovation. And technological advancement. Deus Sex, it's a variety of different mechanics. Uh, by that, I mean it's part combat, it's part social, it's part hacking, and it's part stealth for the combat. You will have to observe, planify, and act. For the social aspect of the game, when you will meet a story character, you will have to pass through different rounds with him to obtain information. For the hacking, you will have to hack a network and find information about your missions, about the, the, the universe. And for the stealth, you will use the environment to hide. The Sex Human Evolution is the first game of the studio. Uh, so we built everything from scratch. When you start a studio, you need to concentrate your effort to create a really long-term business relationship with solid partners. And we wanted to be sure that we use a modern pipeline, in fact, to support our ambitions and make sure that the artist can uh, use the, the full potential of their software. At IDOS Montreal, we do use uh, several tools uh, that are from uh, Autodesk. 3ds Max, Maya, and Motion Builder are used presently in development for 2x. The main character rig is done always in Maya. Motion Builder is used because we have a lot of mocap. With Motion Builder, it's easier to treat that mocap, to clean the mocap, to get all of that into the game. And uh, we started to integrate 3ds Max in the pipeline as well because there were some of us which were more comfortable using uh, 3ds Max. That means that we have a lot more flexibility and our productivity is much higher. Uh, because we're not shackled by the tools that we have to use. And it's really great because of the FBX file format. We can actually um, easily go between the different software and we're not constrained, you know, as far as the tools that we use. And since our game took about uh, three years to make, the softwares do evolve within that time. And it's nice to have been able to uh, upgrade the software as we went along. It was very important for us uh, to upgrade the different softwares all along the production. Doing so, we're uh, ensuring that uh, we always have the latest tools and better tools compared to the rest of the industry. The time that it takes us to do a model, let's say today, takes much less time than it did back in, let's say, 2007, 2008, because uh, there were new tools that were released with each subsequent version that just made our workflow that much simpler. You know, like the Graphite tools was released with Max 2010. We didn't have those tools before, and they have tremendously helped us in our workflow. I think what made this game special is the, uh, the scope of the animation. The level of detail on Deus Ex Human Revolution is quite phenomenal. And the depth of the story is truly important. People will have the interest to discover, to explore. This is exactly the experience that we want to give. And so Deus Ex is really uh, incredible.